What happens when a company delists? Recently, Elon Musk has made a deal with Twitter to buy the company for $44 billion. As part of the takeover, which is expected to close later this year, Twitter shares will be delisted and the company will be taken private. Twitter shares closed more than 5% higher after the day the deal was announced. But what is delisting and what does this mean if you own Twitter shares? Delisting is when a security, like Twitter, is removed from a stock exchange. Delistings can happen at any time, both voluntarily and involuntarily, for strategic reasons, like in Twitter's case, or for financial reasons, for example, if the company were to go bankrupt. When a company delists, investors still own their own shares. However, they'll no longer be able to sell them on the exchange. Instead, they'll have to do this OTC or over-the-counter. OTC trading is not done on a formal exchange. Instead, most OTC trades will be between two parties and are handled via a dealer network like foreign exchange currencies, also known as Forex. In practice, however, given the lack of liquidity on shares after a company delists and the difficulty of selling them, it's more likely that individuals will sell their shares before the delisting happens. Other companies that have also voluntarily delisted include Dell in 2013, before they went public again in 2018, and Burger King, who've actually delisted twice, first in 2010 before going public again and then delisting again in 2014.